going on guys welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna to be doing a walk around of my truck and showing you what's all done to it and uh, explaining what I've done to it and things that I'm gonna to do to it so uh, I guess let's get started <clears throat> first off it has American force wheels 22 by 12s with uh, Anthem amp 33 14 and a half wide by 22s um, I've done uh, 2012 axles underneath it so it rides super smooth um, if you come right here I've uh, custom built my own uh, coil spring buckets and traction bar track bar and track bar bracket I built that all myself gives it about a four inch lift um, that's the Skies Off-Road uh, bracket that they make with a drop bracket that I bought offline to get my pinion angle right. Um, I have uh, tra custom traction bars that I built. I like to build stuff myself, so I built them. Um, you can watch my previous videos on the old 05 plus axle swap has Bilstein shocks all the way around to keep it riding super smooth um, let's pop the hood I guess oh another thing we can take a look at the front so I'm gonna be replacing these headlights with brand new ones I'm gonna get some custom made ones that should turn out pretty good I custom made this grill pretty cheap um, Brendan who's running the video camera we did some trade and I got that uh, badge it turned out pretty nice I uh, made these custom brackets and everything for my bumper and light bar and whatnot so I think I might start selling those kits if anybody's interested but um, they're LED they're uh, yeah, LED light bars by Vivid. I'll turn them on real quick and let you guys see them. They're pretty cool. They turn to any color you want. So you can't go wrong with these Vivid LED light bars. And yeah, I'll pop the hood. I can come and look at that a little bit. So about three years ago, I blew up the motor in this truck. And I told my wife, I'm like, I'm gonna be building it how I want it. So uh, I blew up the motor because I had a DP tuner on it. And the timing was off, I found from the DP tuner. And it cracked a hole in, my, in one piston and then cracked three other pistons. I wasn't very happy about that but what could you do so I went and bought a dynamic diesel uh, short block for it that came with a stage one cam and d-lip ceramic coated pistons I like the cam it make make it you can tell it helps with EGTs and makes it lope a little bit and then I went and had my heads redone. I have a Comp 910 valve springs shimmed at 30 over. And then ARP head studs with Smith Brother uh, push rods. And uh, that's basically what's done inside the motor. Then I have a adrenaline high pressure oil pump to support my uh, 205 slash 30 cc injectors. And then I have a custom e-fuel system. I don't know if you can kind of see the check some of that out. My that's my high pressure, not my high pressure, my uh, fuel pressure regulator. It has a Super Duty turbo on it. That's the KC 6673 turbo with the .84 housing, exhaust housing, and then it has the CSD intercooler pipes. I've had to modify them to, I wanted them to fit perfect. And then custom uh, 
intake with the riffraff filter and filter cover and then riffraff intercooler boots uh what else oh riffraff boost fuller it has a lot of riffraff parts on it i got a lot of my parts from riffraff um what else oh it has a melling uh low pressure oil pump so helps apply oil pressure to the high pressure oil pump and just i want to add some more riffraff goodies to it like their antifreeze bottle cover and the oil cap and they have a clamp that goes here i'm gonna be adding those to it one of these days so i think oh then it has a five speed zf5 transmission with a dual disc south bend clutch in it and it should be pushing around 500 horsepower i'm pretty sure with all the stuff that i've done to it Oh, and the motor is bored 30 over also, so that helps with more compression. But, yeah, she's fun for sure. She turns heads everywhere we go. Uh, with the engine, I went with red, white, and blue to... I'm all about America, so that was my theme. Plus, I have this American flag right here that you could see. I don't know if I I like that flag. It's always gonna be there. And then my stickers. You can never go wrong with too many stickers on the truck. Uh, it has underglow. You can't really tell, but I have that on it. I uh, like my exhaust tip in front of the tire. That's just my style. I like it a lot. Um, custom exhaust by myself I got a 2001 uh, just a stock super duty down pipe and that's what I ran to make the super duty turbo fit got super duty up pipes bellowed up pipes for that also so what you see on the inside a little bit maybe let me go unlock it This truck is super clean. Like, there is no rip in any seats, nothing. And if you don't have a gun in your truck, then you shouldn't be driving a truck. So, uh, future plans, I wanna put a nice touchscreen uh, Bluetooth radio in it, uh, probably from Joy. I have a custom built a uh, subwoofer box for my subwoofer has a jail audio that's my kid's car seat i'm not afraid to take this thing anywhere i want to take it. it it cruises 85 miles an hour just fine i have 355 gears in the front and rear so like i said it cruises 80 85 no problem Another future plans that I want to do for it is a bed liner. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do it myself with like a Raptor liner kit or go and have Line X do it, but have my B&W hitch in the back so I can pull my horses or take the flatbed to the dunes with all the razors and four wheelers on it. Gonna get a new toolbox one of these days. If you can't tell, I'm a team roper, so I like Huey, and uh, yeah, you can see my polished tailgate that I've done. It has the, I can't remember the brand, but it has a strip that goes in underneath here that has lights and whatnot, uh, signal lights for turning and stuff, and then my team roping uh, hitch plate so I uh, put mud flaps on it I uh, I didn't want to get in trouble with the cops so that's why I put the mud flaps on it personally I don't like mud flaps but I wanted it to be 
as legal as it could be, I guess, without getting the cops being harassed by the cops. My tires already stick out far enough, so I thought I should put some mud flaps on it. I went and got semi mud flaps and cut them in half and made brackets for them. That turned out good, as you can see. Uh, what else is there? Can you think of anything? Maybe one day I'll have a 2012 rear bumper on it. I have the bumper, but I want nice chrome uh, caps, and I only have the black caps for it. So I want to, I'll get some chrome ones that look good for it. Maybe some aftermarket tail lights one of these days when I do my headlights. But other than that, that's her. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.